is so down. Now I want to try to even it all up. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to cut this right here even with that. Pull this up. And I'm going to cut this right here evenly down. There we go. Now, let's get our piece back out of here. Got a cat wanting in now. Alright, now we have a back and a front. This right here is the back. And what we want to do is work on the front right here. And we want to see how big it is and then see what else we need to do. Which I'm pretty sure we need to put something around the sides of it. It would be a whole lot easier to uh, be able to sew it too. Make sure we have it even with this. And oh yeah. See it now. One down with it. Yep. That works pretty good. We got it worked out pretty good. Now we need something on each side. Which I have that covered. I have oh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'd rather go with this right here. So let's cut this down. We'll cut the uh, everywhere that uh, there is a seam. We'll get rid of it. Oh, um, let's see, we've got a seam here. Well, look, we got a seam over here on this side. Oh, well, we're going to have to keep it because we need this long edge. We need the longness. I don't know. Can we go with the other way? Well, I don't see why not. Let's go with the other way. So let's cut this edge off. Bottom with the. There we go. should be open to one big old piece. Yep, it is. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guess at it because it's all going to be trimmed off anyway. So, now, we have these two pieces here. Put that over, all that over there. Now let's get this back out. back out like that. That works for me. Now these sides here we need something and, and, it, and what it looks like is just like a lot maybe a, a two inches is all we need but we got to remember we got to fold it like we did the backs here because this right here will not go through the sewing machine. And You can try it if you want to but I don't want to try it. That'd be a pain in the derriere. <laughs> Alright, so with this one right here, really and also we want to try to have a double layer on it. So if we take this one and sew it down like this right here, but remember we want to fold it over. That right there. We don't want big, big hangover. We just more or less want it for to uh, ho to hold it to that that part. Well, I can sure tell I ain't done a video in a couple of days. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. 
Oh no, there goes my pins. I didn't do that. That was my evil twin. Right, let's fold this right here. Fold it the wrong way. There we go. Get it. Pick these up for now. So can't get that down. A little bit more. There we go. And we're going to want to pin both sides and sew down both sides. So when I get that done. And we'll be back. I've got needles all over the floor. Alright, we got this right here done. Now we want to trim down what we just done. So let's trim that down. That stuff is not easy to work with. This right here. Uh, shelving stuff. I don't know what it's called. But it's not easy to work with. You can't hardly get to go underneath the sewing machine to sew it. So. But it'll be alright. We'll make it up. I'm pretty sure we do. Alrighty. Now, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> now, this is the back side. This is the front side. So what I'm going to do is lay this away. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this one. And I want the back to go up on it. Okay. Pull it up and we'll see how close I am to that side. Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> okay, let me move my sewing machine and all.
video or to video edit this that I just done. And I come in here and she's here. I want you to look where she happened to lay. You see that clip? Yeah. I think I, she laid right on my clip. Didn't you, Mama Cat? Well, I gotta let this battery kind of fill up a little bit before I can do any more. 16%. So I guess you're okay for now. I've got this pinned down and I put it all the way up against this that I can. And I have my opening here to here and pinned all the way around. Now, I'm going to sew right on these lines right here. But I'm going to try to do it a whole lot more straighter than that right there. You know, and try to make it look better. You know, because everything is past. Let me see. Where is that? Right here. See here, the needle is past, right there's the needle. So it's past that, so that I won't hit it, and it'll turn out better, you know. So now, we are going to sew this thing down. Alrighty, I got it pinned down, I mean, unpinned, and I also cut around it. So now it's time to turn it. Well, finish this thing up. So, this right here is going to take me a few minutes to get this, because this rubber stuff is kind of hard to work with here. And then you got this right here that's uh, weaved in. So I got two fighting against me. And I gotta straighten all this weave out after I get done with this. Ooh, it's coming in. Yes! Yes, it's going, it's going. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Works for me. So if we can't salvage some of our corners. Oh. There's my corner salvage. So if I can get it in there without causing any damage. Yeah. Yes, that'll work. Bottom. Work on it. Find the corner. Come on, Mama Cat. I don't need your tail in my way. Alright, here this is now. Let's see how messed up. Nah, oh, this looks good. Uh-oh. It's over, Mama Cat, and it's taken over it. Mama Cat, what are you doing? You want to lay down on my work? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to call it quits for right now. It is late at night. So, what time is it? Um, I don't know, but it's late. Alright, I went and bought me a pair of shoes. Real pretty shoes. But this one right here hurts the top of my foot. I'm going to go back and get another pair. But those are real pretty. Alright, let's get started back on this again. So what we want to do now is we want to take and... Level this out to where the seam is going towards the bottom, and we want to pin it. Yeah, Mama Cat, here you are down here to bother me, aren't you? And we want to do it all the way around. Come on now, Mama. I'm trying to be busy here, 
at least pretend like I am. Okay? Yeah. And you've got to get out of my way. Should have left you outside in the rain. What I should have done. Yeah. Oh, you know I can't do that. So I'm going to get that done, and afterwards I'm going to take and I'm going to sew all the way around it. And as I go, if I see anything needs to be straightened out, I'm going to straighten it out. So it will look better. There it is. I've got it sewed all the way around. And, uh, and it won't, it won't move. And, uh, it's not slidable. Because it's stuff underneath it that stops it from sliding. So that works for me. But would I recommend making one of these? No. Why? Because it's bad on your sewing machine. And on top of all that, and um, it just, I don't know, it just, I would not advise making a rug like this. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But. I can say one thing, it's big enough to put underneath the car and work on and not worry about uh, getting on the ground. <laughs> That's about it. So I hope you enjoyed. I kind of did. How about it. Like you said, it don't slide. No, it don't slide. I was going to say, even across that floor. <laughs> well, what do you think of it as a rug in general? Yeah, it's not really a bad one. <laughs> See, I knew it. Okay.